Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo, uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and a Virgo Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for June twenty fourth to a uh, June thirtieth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump uh, straight away to the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Virgo's week, that is going to be the Four of Swords, followed by the second one which stands for the uh, challenges that Virgo needs to overcome here, that will be the Five of Swords. Afterwards, uh, it is the positive aspect of the Virgo's week that is going to be uh, the Hermit. And the last one which stands for the guidance that Virgo um a tarot is offering to Virgo, this is going to be the judgment. Wow, quite interesting, guys. All right, so once again, Four of Swords it is the uh, general topic of the week, followed by the uh, Five of Swords, which is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Then it is the uh, Hermit, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the judgment, which is the guidance. Okay, so it seems that it's going to be quite of an important week because in this week you will have to make up your mind about something. So what I'm trying to say here is that there is a very important decision for you to make of how to approach a certain situation or what to do in general with a certain situation. And uh, that decision needs to immerse throughout this week okay now the thing about that decision or about this new strategy of yours and i'm saying new it is because it's going to variate uh quite severely from the current strategy that you have make up in your mind apart from that the week is going to be rather quite peaceful that is described here with the four of swords pointing to peace, you know, uh, a time to catch up your breath, a time to, um, how can I describe it, to detach yourself from those really stressful situations that you may find into your career or into your relationship, but in the same time, a time where serious deliberations, especially if you do have someone uh, as a faithful companion of yours, needs to take place so you deliberate with that person what to do from now on either with your marriage with your career or you know with a, a a thing of yours that you want to improve or develop the accompanied card here is going to be the wheel of fortune <clears throat> the formation it is a active friends that we do have so we will fortune points to a, a a good opportunity for you to readopt your strategies here and as well how do you say a very fortunate circumstances as well which are going to help you to foresee a, a simply better way how you can do your things but as well the wheel of fortune here as a active friend to the four of swords is also a, a sign or rather like a, a reminder 
of yours that whatever you decide is going to be a, a final decision, meaning that you are going to reap um, whatever the circumstances present to you or whatever circumstances you have created, be they be uh, bitter or, uh, or sweet. Okay, so you got to be careful how you use that new insights of yours, if I may express it that way, because it's, it is what we're talking about through AI deliberations. You're going to have an insight how to approach your situation that you're struggling with, with much more efficient manner. So uh, the challenge itself here, which is the five of swords, it does stands for a couple of things. Virgo, the first thing that at least to me is the more important thing of how it stands is that you need to recognize what you can do and what you cannot do, what you can achieve and what you cannot achieve. Therefore, it simply stands as that you need to recognize your own personal limits and how far you can go with the current situation. Additionally to that, the Five of Swords as a challenge stands for the uh, very difficult to resist an impulse to act straight away instead of deliberating upon it, finding a, a much better way to act. Probably whatever strategy you do have for you for overcoming the plights into your relationship or to overcoming the plights into your career, it does look very good. It does look that it's going to breed up the results that you are expecting, but it's only look like that way. All right. Uh, probably there is a, a much better and efficient way uh, to cope with your predicaments uh, than the way that you are um, trying to assemble uh, prior to the week June 24th to June 3rd, 2019. The accompanied card here that is to be the justice card. So the formation it is a active uh, supporters that we do have quite peculiar, um, quite of a, a peculiar combo, as I was about to say, it does point that your original idea also are going to bring results, but it's going to make more damage than it has to. Okay, so uh, not necessarily upon yourself, but this deliverance of damage is going to be dealt to the people that are around you. So as much as you have to be accountable toward yourself, uh, meaning, you know, accountable to toward your uh, progress. Also, that needs to be done in a fashion that does as minimum damage as possible to the people around you. For example, you want to press on to, with your career, you can do it by, uh, let's say, um, on the account of a colleague of yours, making your colleague um, being fired. For example, you're working on a, a current project together, the project fails, and so you don't get the blame, you know, you put all the blame on your colleague. That is one way how these cards could um, manifest themselves, meaning, you know, that at the end of the day, you know, you are going to uh, reach your goal, progress with your career, that will be the on the expense of someone else, and you are going to deliver more damage than you actually have. Or you can spend the time of the week, you know, to deliberate with that colleague of yours, how you can actually get away with uh, the failure of the project or how you can escape that misfortunate situation. And most likely for, throughout the week, you are going to reach to a, a very intelligent and wise conclusion, which is displayed into the positive aspect of the week. And that is the hermit. So the hermit here for you guys, it does point to a, uh, I would say, focusing on what is substantial. So as soon as you give yourself a, a chance to deliberate upon the predicament that you will have to cope with, then, like I said, you are going to focus on what is substantial or the root of why that predicament is in the, is there. And instead of fight, fighting the symptoms of uh, that predicament, you're going to fight the cause or rather like you're going to take measures toward the cause of that predicament. That will establish a very, uh, how can I describe a uh, approach, very wise and as well intelligent approach toward the situation and most likely is going to solidify your positions as well, either regarding marriage, career or um, social circle wise. It, it does depend where this, uh, where the situation takes place. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So the formation is a passive supporters. Once again, 
what we did had active support supporters beforehand and so these cards are pointing uh, that uh, you are going to have the eye for the subtleties but should you take time all right not that you act impulsively to the situation but taking time you are going to have the eye for the subtleties and for the minor details recognizing what, what what went wrong and recognizing how you can fix it so taking the necessary measures to fix that whatever went wrong and establishing the whole undertaking back on its natural uh, on its natural course and on top of that with these couple of cards <clears throat> it seems that also this is going to help you to figure out how you can initiate a a plan of yours make a real manifestation and initiation on a plan of yours that took quite a long time to develop so uh, we are seeing here a, a huge takeoff <clears throat> of your environment and your life in general Virgo throughout this week but that can be only achieved like I said if you take your time to find the best possible way how you can do it instead of acting recklessly and uh, impulsively if I may express it that way so the last card that we do have for you guys is going to be the guidance here and that is the judgment and so judgment here points as a guidance that there is a um, a hidden clue or rather like a, a hidden circumstances that are yet to happen, which are to give you exactly the answer you need. So this is why you need to wait. This is why you need to deliberate. This is why you have to, instead of attacking the symptoms of your situation to attack the core, the core is going to be revealed to you. Everything is going to start making sense. The pieces of the puzzle is going to fall together and you are, going, you are going to understand the fullness and the entirety of the situation. For example, why your marriage isn't going on very well, why your career isn't going on very well, why that project failed, why this person is hostile to you. And with that, you are going to uncover as well the appropriate measure, the most efficient measures that you are going to, that you will have to take toward the situation. And the best thing about that is that those measures are not going to require much of an effort from you. It is just, you know, the insight that you're going to have of what is the uh, correct way of how you are to deal with your situation. The accompanied card here that is going to be uh, the Knight of Swords. So uh, it points to very keen perception, very keen mind that you're going to exert in there, being able to make the accurate decisions, decisions which are not going to make you feel bad, that uh, are actually you're going to be in peace with them, knowing that they were the best thing that you could do uh, at the time being, which uh, is the right thing that's, uh, you, that you are to do at the time given so uh virgo with that being said guys that concludes the reading like i said it looks like a quite sort of a major week for you guys where you're gonna find answers where you're gonna find uh how you have to deal with a certain thing so uh, most likely it's gonna take place at the uh, field of your life where you feel baffled where you don't know what to do right now where you feel lost and uh, like I said, guys, give yourself a time, share your uh, burden with someone that you take as a faithful companion, like I said, someone that you trust. I bet that that person will be more than happy to help you with the deliberation and with figuring out how exactly you can, uh, you can cope with the situation. And with both minds combined together, I have no doubt that the path in front of you, the real path in front of you is going to be revealed. So yeah, like I said, that being said, this was um, your weekly tarot reading June 24th to June 30th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.